Yeah, that's true, actually. 99p is, <laughs> is worth 99p. Can't tell her about Bella Flunk. No, I'm not telling Esme she's a flunk. <laughs> Don't be so rude to our viewers. Uh, email us at cbc at bbc.co.uk if you would like to join in in this important debate. We'll see you after Best of Friends, which coincidentally costs 99p to make. <laughs> flunk. Hello, and welcome to Best of Friends, where it's really, really cold. Well, maybe you should have wrapped up warm, Ronnie. Oh, well, you were out first thing this morning. You could have warned me. I tried, but I couldn't use the phone. Well, you've got loads of jumpers. Maybe you could lend me one. I would if I could, but I can't. Oh, Abs, that's absolutely rubbish. I'm so cold. <laughs> the thing was, right, I put all my jumpers on, then I couldn't reach my phone, and I couldn't take the jumpers off. What? Come on. <laughs> because he always helps me when I'm stuck at my English schoolwork. Zach's the joker of the group because he makes everyone laugh and he's always messing around in class. Ryan is my best friend because he's very good at football and he's good at inventing games for us to play. James is my best friend because we met in year three and we've been friends ever since. I'm friends with Kyle because he, I sit near him in math class and he always does stupid things to make me laugh. Right then, Ben, what I'd like to know is how well do you guys all know each other? I mean, knew each other from since year three and we keep each other's secrets. So, Zach, dish the dirt on one of your mates. Who takes the longest to get ready for school? Ryan, because he, he never gets out of bed and he never gets dressed. Ryan, do you think he's going to hold you back in the show, then? I uh, don't know. So then, Carl, on Best of Friends, we give you loads of tasks. Now, I've heard that you don't like to eat a few things. What is it you really don't like to eat? Well, I don't like stuff like mashed potato, shepherd's pie. Anything else? Sprouts. Is there anything you do like? Macaroni, cheese, burgers, hot dogs, pizza. Kebab, chicken, so deep like fried food. <laughs> anything unhealthy. So you'd be happy to eat something like that for a task then, yeah. but no vegetables. <laughs> James, treat-wise, what can we give you as a perfect treat? Um, probably an arcade. A whole arcade? <laughs> <laughs> there, you go. there you go. Now, do you recognise this sound? Probably do. That's our surprise twist on Best of Friends. And if you hear that at any time during the show, we're going to throw in an extra element that's going to test your friendship. But let's find out who's going to be doing the first task and who's going to be doing the first treat. So let's bring in your unlucky dip. Right, in this bag there are five sweets. Three of them are blue and two of them are clear. So close your eyes, please, and get ready to pick your sweets. Remember, three of you are going to be doing the first task. In you go. <laughs> Boys, you've all got your sweets, but I think you might need some motivation what to do with them. Oh, let's motivate them. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. suck! Let's see those tongues. Take a look at each other. Bang! Bang! And we're going to find out, first of all, who's coming with you to do the first task and the first treat. For that, we need the unlucky dip. So then, boys, we've got our sweets. Anything you like to say? Motivate us. You One, two, three. <laughs> Great. Nice. Brilliant. Happy? Really happy. Good. All right, you're doing the first task. I'm doing the first treat. Let's have a circle of friendship before we all leave each other. Come on, boys, let's get in. Can we keep it? Yes, we can. Right then, chaps, task one, what would you least like it to be? Um, my worst task would be jumping in the pool with a crocodile and a shark. A crocodile and a shark. Well, I don't think we're going to do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out what it is, though. Task one, it's called Mystery Menu. Fish, sausage, egg or pie. Whilst blindfolded, can you tell the difference between the different foods that we've chosen for you to taste? You'll each have to try two foods as a team. 
oh. you must get five out of six correct to pass. Uh, um, yeah, it's going to be, you know... <laughs> you said you weren't scared of anything. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, it's not you scared. Hate food, it's, it's, only a fish. it's only a fish. Yeah. And, and sausage, and egg, or pie. Could be anything. Oh, egg? Should we go see what we have to eat? What sort of egg? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, Follow me. Go. So, Zach and James, you pleased you got the first truth? Yeah. Should we find out what it is? Yeah. yeah. OK. Here we go. Prepare to become a nutty professor. For your first treat, you guys are off to construct your own robots. Oh, wicked. Not only will the robots move, but they will also be able to draw pictures. Wow. That just good. sounds mental, doesn't it? Cool. And it's really good because I'm very good at doing the robot. So let's get out of here. Should Come I on. Peter Crouch. <laughs> yeah, crouch out, baby. Right then, lads, in front of you, you have six bowls. Each of you will have to taste two items of food that is in those bowls. OK, we're going to start down this end with you, Carl. Yeah. There's no rush. Take your time. In your own time, you tell me what you think that is. Is that spaghetti hoops? OK, so you're saying spaghetti hoops. OK. What do you think that is? I saw it the smooth in my mouth. It was really slimy and all gooey. And, I, and I'm really, really annoyed that I took such a big spoonful because it was such it's so disgusting. Oh, is that butter? Is it butter? We'll find out in a second. Hi there, Roy. Hi, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Now, we've got Zach here. Hi. Well, this is <laughs> Chance, aren't they? And uh... this is James as well. Now, we've been having a bit of a chat. We can dance the robot, can't we? Look at that. We can dance it. That's not a problem. But how are we going to make a robot? How are we going to make a robot? Good question. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get a mineral water bottle that mm -hmm. I've cut in half and painted and a base. The next thing we're going to need is we're going to need some legs for it. And to make our legs, we're going to use felt tip pens. Put the pens through the holes in the base. Get the tape. I found that um, building the robot really fun because I've never built one before. Then and it was a good experience. Push the pens together so that the legs stick out. Ryan, you're up next. Um, I'll guide you here with your left hand. OK, what do you think that might be? The first spoonful tasted like fruity and sweet, and it had little bits in, and I'm sure I've tasted it before. I've tasted it before, but I don't know what it is. Kiwi. I think it's a kiwi fruit. Yeah. And your next item is this one. Take a nice mouthful of that. Okay. Oh. 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 It's too long. You sure? Yeah. Go on, right. You shouldn't really speak with your mouthful. <laughs> Finally, on to Ben. Let's take your right on, hand, ben. pop it in there, Ben. I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Well. You're going with sprouts. <laughs> Now, your final one's in here. Get that up close to your mouth. My second spoonful was absolutely disgusting, which is, I didn't like the taste of it, and all I could smell was fish. I'm going for tuna. You're going for tuna? Yeah, no. OK. What's next, then? OK, so we need to put the motor on our robot. Stick that through the spindle of the motor. Mm-hmm. OK, guys, let's see how well your robot moves. You might have to take the <laughs> pipe cleaners off. <laughs> oh, man, you were working! Hey. The best bit of the tree was where it was actually completed and we got to see it move and draw pictures. Roy, it's definitely fair to say that our robots lost their head for artwork. Thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Boys, you enjoy it? Yeah! Let's yeah. go see how the others did on the task. See you later, Roy. Bye. Bye. OK, boys, it's time to find out how you've done. Carl, you went first, so would you like to take your mask off for me, please? Now, your first item you thought was spaghetti hoops. It's the correct answer. The second food that you tasted you thought was butter is correct. So two from two. Ryan, you're up next. In this bowl, you told me you thought it was kiwi fruit. It's actually avocado. So that's one error. Remember, you're only allowed to make one mistake on this task, otherwise you fail. Another incorrect answer, and that's it. The second item of food we gave you to taste, you thought it was tuna. 
The smell might have given it away. It was tuna. Well done. OK, that's three out of four. Let's go on to our final two items with you, Ben. Could you take off your face mask, please? Now, you thought this one here was sprouts. Unfortunately, it was olives. So straight away, that's two out of the six items wrong. Unfortunately, boys, you have failed this task. OK? The funniest thing, though, to put a smile on your faces, was the fact that you thought this was tuna. Look! What sort of tuna is that? It was honey all along. Right then, lads, what did you get up to on your first treat this morning, James? We got to go um, and make a robot which could w walk and draw. How did you make your robot, Zach? Well, we got a bottle and cut it in half, and, like, it was already painted, and we stuck it together on this white material, and then we stuck pens on it, and then we stuck a battery and a motor onto it. Then it just went off and started doing its own thing, did it? Yeah. Well, enough chat about the trees. Ben, what did you have to do on your first task? Um, we had to go there with blindfolds on, and we had two mystery bowls each, and we had to guess what the foods were. So you had two bowls to test food and you were blindfolded. Carl, this must have been a nightmare for you because you hate nearly all food products. How many food products were there? Six and two each. Well, it sounds like an awful first task. But Carl, did you pass or did you fail? Did we failed. Well, because you failed the first task, it does mean three if you still need to do the second task. So which three is it going to be? Three of you want to volunteer or do we want to select three of you by using the unlucky dip? They're your two options. That's what you need to chat about right now. I reckon me and Zach could do it, cos we've just done the tree. Yeah. And then one of you three would have to volunteer yeah. to try and do it. We could do the unlucky dip or does anyone want to volunteer? I'll do it. Or yeah. you sure? You sure? Yeah, but George ought to do one. Oh, right then. OK, then. All right. So it's me, Ben and Zach. Yeah. 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 All right, then. James, why don't you tell us what you've decided to do? Um, me and Zach, because we did the last treat, and Ben volunteered because he got um, he said that he got both of the foods wrong. Ben, are you sure you're OK with that? Yep. Yeah? Everyone happy? Yeah. OK, <laughs> we need to find out then who's coming along with you. <laughs> Look at everyone's face. Now, boys, you know what that sound means. It means it's time for a surprise twist. So let's find out what the surprise twist is. Helping hand. Taskers, your other friends are about to go on a treat while you're about to do a really nasty best of friends task. This task would be much easier to pass if you had an extra pair of hands to help you out. But it means asking one of your friends to give up their treat. So, it's up to you to decide if you want someone to join you on the task and who it would be. OK, then, boys, you've got ten seconds and your time starts now. <laughs> so then, James, you're the team football captain. What are you going to do? Um, just let them go Yeah, let's just let them go on the treat. Are you sure about that, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, then, let's find out who's coming along with you. Let's bring in the unlucky dip. OK, we've got our sweets. What do we do? You stop! One, two, three. <laughs> oh! Sucker. And how much Ben is laughing, even though he's doing a task as well. well let's turn around for you, me and Ben. I'll take five. And, uh, Task, are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, let's have another circle of friendship to get us there. Here we go. Can we kick it? Yes, we can! The love of the world is our best of friends! Yeah! This is your next task. How good are you at texting? Or, more importantly, how good are you at translating text speak? You'll be shown eight abbreviations of words or phrases, and you'll have to work out what they stand for. You'll need to get six out of eight correct to pass the task. For your second treat, you are off to visit the fire brigade. You'll get a tour of the station and the fire engines and really see what it's like to be a firefighter. Does that sound hot? Yeah. yeah. Get it? Hot fire brigade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Bad joke. I'll leave it. <laughs> now, on the other side of this board, which you can't quite see yet, are your eight text speak words. You're going to have a minute and a half to identify six out of eight. If you get any more than two wrong, it's a fail. It's a time task. You're allowed to work together as a team. You've got a minute and a half. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. You can step forward now. 
What do you think the top one is? B4, the four. Everyone agreed? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on, laugh Come out loud. loud. Keep going through them. Text back. Text back. Yeah. Four great. One. Great. Yeah. Got the fifth go. one. Got to go. go. Come on then, boys, let's find out what we're doing. Hello there, I'm Ronnie. Hello, I'm Chris. Hiya, Chris. Chris, these are our treaters. We've got Carl here and we've also got Ryan. Nice to meet you. And you boys look very handsome, all kitted out, and we're very excited about this. What are we doing today? Well, today, Ronnie, what you're going to be doing is dressing uh, yourself and your two treaters up. And we're no. going to be doing some fire drills, hopefully squirting some water, and actually get to sit oh. on the fire engine if you're lucky. No way! Going actually in the fire engine? Yes. Whoa! Oh Ever been God. in one before? No. Oh High five no. this. But we've got to get kitted out. Um, just take our pick. When I had the surprise twist and they decided not to choose anyone to take on the task, I was really grateful for them because if I'd missed the treat, I would have been really gutted. Yo! Yeah! <laughs> What's the BFM? Um, huh? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You've got 40 Come seconds on, left. When I got down to the bottom, I started to struggle a bit because they got harder and harder. You need the bottom three, and time's running out. You've got 20 seconds left. Four today. Which one, that? One. With the bottom Four one? one. Four today. Four today. 20 mm. seconds left. Talk, Talk to, to you later. Talk to you later. Yeah. Talk yes. to you later. BFM. What's BFM? You don't need it, but what's BFM? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> Boyfriend now. Just have a guess. You've got five seconds Boyfriend left. What's your guess? Now. Boyfriend now. Boyfriend now. <laughs> Boyfriend now. It showed me how to like handle a hose and put out a fire properly. So it ain't just about all oh, the fun of it, you always got to keep safe as well. Best of friends is safe for another day! Yeah. yeah! Okay, your first one that you said was? Before. Before. Yes! Next, you said laugh out loud. Or laughing. Yes. Laugh out loud. Laugh. There's two. Now, you thought this one here was text back? Yes. It's the correct answer. Yes. Uh, next, you thought this one, pretty obvious one, great. Yes. Great choice. Well done. <laughs> G2G. You're happy with your answer there, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, G2G. Good to go. Also correct. Yes. Okay, so five <laughs> correct so far. <clears throat> we need at least one more to pass the task. Okay? You thought this one <laughs> was boyfriend now. <laughs> Is it boyfriend now? No. No, it's not. Boyfriend now. Boyfriend now. Oh. Now you need to get one of these final two right to pass the task. Okay? T T Y L. Does it mean talk to you later? Yes! It does mean talk to you later, which oh, means yes. you have got six correct. It doesn't matter what that last one says, you pass the task. How do you feel? Good. Good. Nice to finally pass the task. Yeah. Well, well done. Do you want to find out what that last yeah. one is just yeah. for fun? Yeah. Yeah. You thought it was for today? Yeah. It's actually free to talk. Oh, and that is it for today. Ronnie, I've been wandering around the apartment, right, eating stuff, trying to guess what it is. It's been great fun. <laughs> well, you must be pretty good at it by now. You do it enough. Yeah, it's one that's got me stumped, though. What, what was it? Something healthy? Maybe a bit of fruit? No, no. I thought it was a chocolate bar, but then it was really chewy, so then I thought it might have been toffee. But it's not that chewy. So what's it taste of? It tasted like soap. It is soap, you wally. <laughs> I must have wandered into the bathroom. <laughs> So then, Abs, your taskers, they didn't want the health and surprise twist. Do they need it? Not at all. We really? absolutely cruised the second task. Um, James was very strong in it. Right. And I think he should volunteer to do the final task. OK, anyone you should volunteer with? Because you've done both tasks now. Yeah, um, I'd say Carl was the other strongest member of this team. And so, James, Carl, and you should volunteer. Ooh, I think you should volunteer. You should volunteer. You should. You should volunteer. You should, you should volunteer. Hi, guys. Hello. 
now, yesterday, taskers, you failed a task. So we're going to find out if you passed your second task. Oh, should we speak to the treaters first? Let's speak to the treaters first. Fair Keep enough, then. Keep in suspense <laughs> a little bit longer. So, Carl, what did you get up to for your second treat yesterday? We got to go to the fire station and, well, as soon as we got there, we got to dress up in a proper fireman outfit with helmet and gloves. All of a sudden, the alarms went off and there was a little fire on the barbecue and we got to put it out. It wasn't a little fire, it was dangerous! <laughs> it was <fire> <laughs> yes! <laughs> we were excellent firefighters. We look so good in our uniform as well. Anyway, enough about our treat. How about your task, Zach? What do you have to do? We had to do text speech. It was like, it was on a board and right. there was some, like, letters, like, B4, it was a B and a 4, mm -hmm. and we had to translate it to English words. It was there any that you couldn't guess, James? Um, I think it was the bottom too, because um, we didn't know them, and they were quite tr tricky to find out because we didn't have that long left. I need to know, did you pass or did you fail? You yeah! did! Well, it's fantastic news that you passed your task and these two managed to keep their treat as well. You didn't need to use those two guys. But it does mean on the final task, we still need two people to get involved. So two of you going to volunteer, two of you get selected by the unlucky dip, or do all five of you want to work together as a team and see if you can take on and defeat that final task? Remember, if you do select the team option, if one of you fails, you all fail. So uh, have a chat and we'll come back and speak to you in a sec. Me and Zach have done pretty good on the task, but if, if anyone... I'm happy to volunteer. Does anyone else want to? No. Me and Cole do. Do you want to? Sure. Are, are you sure? Are you sure? sure? Yeah, because sure. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would. Yeah. You're sure, then? I'm sure. OK. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's it? Yeah. yeah. Super cool. There's lots of, you sure? Yeah, you sure? You sure, you sure. Are you Carl, sure? You were directing most of that, so what have you decided to do? Well, me and Zach have decided we're going to volunteer. So then, Zach, why have you and Carl decided to volunteer? Because Carl's the brainiest and I've got the most of strength. And do all the other boys agree with that? Yeah. Fair What's enough, then. Got? Let's see your strength. <laughs> see your muscles. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Strong. Well, good luck to you then, Zach and Carl. Hopefully you'll be joining the others on the final treat. But who's going to go along with them? Should we find out? Yeah. Let's bring in the unlucky dip. All right, then. We've got our sweets. What do we do? Yeah! One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so three, that's in a row for you. Three is the magic number. All right, well, hopefully you will help these guys through it. I'll definitely help you through it. Okay, let's have a final circle of friendship to get you to that final task. Here you. Can, Can we do this? Yes, we do! OK, this one's called Ping Pong Blowout. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow all your ping pong balls out. <laughs> From a water-filled paddling pool, you'll have to search out 20 of our special silver ping pong balls from all the rest and then blow them out using a tube. If you don't get all 20 balls out within three minutes, then you'll fail this final task. So have you got a big lung capacity? Can you do big breaths like this? <gasps> uh. OK, good blowing skills. Let's go and put them to the test. On the Edson, football fans, for your final treat, you are off to Southampton FC to meet the players and you'll also take part in a training session. Yes! <laughs> yeah! You'll get a tour of the training ground and changing rooms. Whoa! Are you footy fans? Yeah! yeah. What about the others? Say you like footy? Carl's the biggest Saints fan ever. Well, hopefully Carl will be joining us a bit later on, but for the meantime, let's go, boys! Yeah! yeah. OK, guys, you got your plastic tubing for this task? Perfect. That's the first thing you'll need. You also need these 20 silver balls, which I'll now sprinkle in the paddling pool for you. It's going to be your job to get those 20 balls back into this bowl within three minutes. If you do that successfully, you'll join the others on the final treat. Do you think you can do it? We yes. can do this, yeah. Let's put three minutes on the clock, then, and your time starts now. Go for it. When I heard what the task was, I felt that all five of us should have done it so we could have passed easily. Okay, two and a half minutes left. It was quite tricky because I, I, all I was doing was blowing out water and I couldn't, like, straight away work out how to actually get the balls out. One minute thirty left. 
Couple in the middle as well. I found it funny because when I was trying to blow, the balls just kept going everywhere and I just couldn't stop laughing. Do a quick search of the perimeter. Make sure they're all out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. OK, time's up anyway. Come and join me here, back where we were to start with. Let's see how you've done. You ready? Yes. You want to count with me? Yeah. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, 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 they smoked it, Sarah, they've gone, they've gone, they've gone. We've got some news. Go on, then. We passed! Yeah! Congratulations, boys. Now, Carl, I've heard you're a massive footy fan. Yeah. Your final treat today is here in Southampton Football Club. You are meeting these guys now. If you're such a big fan, do you know who, who all this lot are? George Burley, Jason Yule, Andrew Simon, Adam Hamill, Bradley Wright Phillips, Jason Dodd. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. This is your street. Well, do you want to talk us through, say, what we're actually going to be doing? OK, what we're going to do, we're going to do a passing drill, then we're going to go do some head tennis, then we're going in the gymnasium to show the boys at the gym work that they do, and then up in the war room to show them the pro zone and the, uh, the preparation we have for a Saturday. Sounds fantastic. Sound good to you, boys? Yeah! Well, let's play football! Me and Carl deserve to go on the final treat because we worked as a team and we worked really well. Kick it off! Oh, we take one off. <laughs> that was the best treat ever that I could have possibly done because I, ha I have a season ticket for every home game, but I've never actually got that close to the players and actually played football with them as well. Congratulations today. Well done on your task. And there's a shirt each for you. Since being on Best of Friends, it's made me really trust all my friends and whatever I do. We can be best of friends forever because we have got a strong friendship and I'm going to keep in touch with every single one of them. Out of all my friends, I reckon Carl done the best because he ate all the foods. I've learned that our t if our team wants something, we can achieve it. Even though we have our disagreements, we will always be best of friends. And that's how the offside rule works. Got it? I do. <laughs> yeah. Finally, after all these years. Thanks. No problem. That's what friends are for. It is indeed. We'll see you next time on Best of Friends. Bye. Bye. The first time I played, it took me over three minutes. The next day, I did it in 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Wicked. Then I got good. It took me 1 minute and 59 seconds. Oh, yes. Yesterday, I beat my best. And today, I beat the rest. Be a CBBC Sports Village champion. Go to bbc.co.uk slash cbbc. Press Sports Village and race in our live weekend mountain bike challenge. Or you can just play for fun. It's the big debate, and the important question is, do you like my hat? Uh, shh, I want a ball. You're on the phone, are you? Oh, 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 lovely. Now that I've Oh, dee, ha, ha. Oh, dee. Oh, you've sold something on 99p sale, have you? Oh, dee, dee. Oh, what's that? The soul. My soul? Dee. What? Dee. Hmm? I'm not even sure I believe it. What? Where did dee. you get this part? <laughs> What? A 99p for my soul? That doesn't seem very much. <laughs> Who bought it? Hey. Huh? Who bought it? An adorable bowler. An anonymous bidder? Me. Eh, eh. Look at that. He bowled me better, me. He paid you in penny. Me, not a bowler. Eh, I lost better than a pound coin. Yes, I'm sure it does look much better than a pound coin. Mm. 99p. Ha. Well, I don't care, anyway. Who needs a soul? I've got... Not a hat with an umbrella on it. 
Um, right, oh, well, let's have a look at some emails. You've been emailing in about this important debate. Uh, Mohin from Manchester says, I Mohin. like 99p because I can buy 99 sweets from a corner oh, shop. Wow. And Ed, you should be ashamed of yourself because you're getting so much bad luck. Mm, I'm not getting bad luck. Right. You can open as many umbrellas as you like indoors. Nothing's going to happen to you. What's going to get you? Nothing. Nothing is not bad luck. Uh, Emily Henson from Durham says, I think the umbrellas are much better than stupid 99p. Too right. Because if you look in your purse and you have no one pound coins, you have to sit in the shop for many hours picking chains like pennies and five peas, and you look a right idiot. It's too right. You what? do look a right idiot in the shop doing that. No, I don't. I don't look an idiot in this house. I don't. I look like a, a Victorian gentleman who's prepared for all weathers. So, if you want to join the big debate, you know what?